Hey up, me odes, it's Rowy here. It is Monday and that means it's time for a bloody big beer with the bloody big lad. There we go, that's that part done. It is roasting in the uh, Chateau de Big Lad at the minute. My room is hotter than a nun's oven, which is a famous um, frame, phrase. It's a famous old English phrase, which if something's particularly hot, they say it is hotter than a nun's oven in there. Uh, keep, the, keep the potential PG rating on this one. Yeah. And we're going for a, obviously we're going for a special one because this is the uh, the zero sheltered row, the, the rowy zero sheltered pod. I keep on saying my name. I keep on saying my name. Like I'm fucking Dave Gorman or something like, what the hell? So it's it's a policy. It's a, the zero shelf turd policy, and for a first time on the channel, we have got Tiny Rebel. We have got their eleventh birthday limoncello double New England IPA. It's eight point five percent, and uh, yeah, I uh, I'm actually looking forward to this a lot. So I originally saw this on um, on Raggy's channel where he was drinking it on draft at the line in Baseford in Nottingham. And I knew I wasn't gonna be able to make it there. So uh, I did message one of me at me contacts at uh, Tiny Rebel. And I was like, if you've got any cans of the Limoncello double I New England IPA knocking around, could you send me one? It'd be much appreciated. You know, not like an influencer or anything like that, because you know, no, no one's watching. But uh, I was sort of like, if you can hook me up, then the next time you're in Nottingham, I'll hook you up. You know, it's, it's kind of how it be. And the next thing I know, I get a bloody, um, I get a whole box set of the uh, of the birthday beers through the post, which I've drank nearly all of them now, and uh, they've all been absolutely delicious. And so yeah, I'm gonna get the uh, get this one there now. And uh, limoncello is my favourite um, spirit. It's one of the few drinks that I think is doable as a shot. I despise shots. Shots are instantly a way to make your even cost three times as much than it originally was going to make you feel four times as fucking awful the next day. So yeah, shots suck. As soon as somebody says, oh yeah, should we get some shots in? It's like, now nah, I'm going home. Now nah, I'm going home. Tonight, tonight's just become shit. Same with train beers. Fuck train beers too, while we're on the, uh, while we're on the subject. Now, one thing which might interest you is, um, yeah, so the ingredients list, water, malted barley, malted wheat, oats, Sicilian lemon, hops, and yeast. Now, a lot of you, I'll probably hear that, you probably instantly thought, but, uh, but Rowie, um, limoncello is made with Amalfi lemons from the Amalfi Coast, which I'm sure, you know, those, uh, those crazy kids down in Newport, they probably have very red faces now that someone's called them out about that, huh? Using Sicilian lemons instead of Amalfi lemons. Ooh, those Italians, oh, they're gonna be bloody fuming. They'll be fuming, they'll be like, oh gosh. But anyway, I've got the tiny rebel glass. I've got my limoncello double IPA. It is warm as shit in here. I'm about to make some jerk chicken on the barbecue. So I kind of, let's get this opened and let's get it a bloody slurp, shall we? Tell you what, don't give up your day job, Rowie. Fuck me, head on that. But as you can see there, that is super, super pale. A, a really big, thick head on that, but that's mainly because um, I poured it like a bit of a twat. So uh, I don't think that's gonna dissipate anytime soon. It smells pretty lemony. It smells like lemon juice. You know, I like lemon juice. I like New England IPAs, I like lemon juice. I'm a, you know, I, I don't like the skins like, but uh, you know, little in-joke there for anyone in any of the beer forums but yeah anyway i'm absolutely gasping that's enough talking around let's get it bloody slurped <sighs> mm. that's a really easy drinking new england ipa definitely lemon right at the very end not maybe not limoncello lemon because with limoncello i expect um a certain level of sweetness, like sweetness to come through, but you can definitely 110% taste the lemon in that. It's, the lemon is very prevalent, but um, it does say on the back in its defense, uh, uh, you know, fancy an, Ita fancy an Italian tonight, uh, why not make it yourself? 
140 mil can of our newest tiny Rebel New England IPA, 150 mil double shot of limoncello. You can't concert glass into a pint glass and add 50 mils of limoncello. Sit back and dream of the Amalfi Coast. Oh, you, rem you remember the Amalfi Coast on the back though, haven't you? Yeah, you didn't remember it when you were putting your buddy Sicilian lemons in. 200 odd miles apart, youth. Fuck me. But yeah, that's absolutely ridiculous. Easy drinking. Absolutely nothing wrong with that double IPA whatsoever. It was in the birthday box, but if you see it out and about anywhere, get it. You won't be you won't be disappointed. Um, again, like so many of the beers that are on the channel, not really a hint of its ABV. Just a really easy drinking double IPA. It's not a sour IPA by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, yeah, the lemon's definitely definitely there. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the if you enjoyed the video, give me a like and a subscribe. Uh, yeah, and uh, if you are also outraged by uh, the inclusion of Sicilian lemons in an Amalfi lemon uh, thing, let me know in the comments. Also, let me know your favourite shot, and I'll tell you why you're wrong. Unless you say limoncello, in which case I'll be like, yeah, you're right. It's literally the best shot. But yeah, again, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, bye 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 bye.